Earlier this week, Red Lobster files for bankruptcy, being $1 billion in debt. But the reason why might shock you. Let's talk about it. Praise to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, back in the days when I was a part of Christianity, Red Lobster was one of those places that we grew up on to be able to go get some, uh, some seafood. Back in the days before I had understanding of righteousness and what was the laws of the Most High Yah, the commands, the precepts of the Most High Yah, you know, I would get the uh, Emerald's Feast. It came with clam strips, came with shrimp, you know, had all the all the stuff that you like, oh man, this was, this is a delicacy. You know, oftentimes we used to go there after uh, Sunday service uh, and other other church members would get together and they say, hey, you know, let's let's go get some red lobster. Let's break bread. And this was well before, you know, I sought out the most high Yah for myself and learned that, OK, Sunday is not the Sabbath, you know, and if these people have been teaching uh, that you're supposed to keep first day, but the word says keep the seventh day Sabbath, you start to realize how polar opposite uh, you know, your former life and your ignorance is from what is commanded in the word. You know, you can go to Red Lobster and they have shrimp all different kind of ways, lobster all kind of different ways. You know, you can get bacon wrapped shrimp, bacon wrapped lobster. And we see clearly from the front of the book all the way to the back of the book, you know, uh, swine specifically is food sacrificed to idols. And that's what Jezebel, you know, was pretty much uh, held accountable for, you know, pretty much faced judgment for in the book of Revelations. And the church was called out for uh, for tolerating uh, the teachings of Jezebel. You know, nowadays, anytime I go to Red Lobster, there are certain things on that menu that are off limits to me. That doesn't mean that I still don't have the same free will that everybody else does to choose to eat unclean foods. But being born again, having your mind renewed is supposed to bring forth a change. You're supposed to make better choices based upon the knowledge, having the knowledge of the truth of the most high. When we look at the reports it says Red Lobster is closing nearly 100 restaurants across the U.S. after filing bankruptcy earlier this week, citing $1 billion in debt and the restaurant's endless shrimp deal that yielded an $11 million loss. Man, you have to look at it. You are witnessing the last days of Red Lobster. You see what I'm saying? When you are born again, man, you realize that, man, there's not too many options on that menu that you can partake in because they have pretty much uh, made a name for themselves by selling unclean food. People go there for the crab legs. They go there for the lobster. You know, this was this was a family tradition growing up in a, in a, in a Christian household. And it wasn't until I separated myself from that you know, uh, you know, and my wife, you know, being able to remember and give testimony to, to back when I was living like that, I was getting the bacon wrapped shrimp. I was getting uh, the lobster tail, the clam strips, the the uh, the mussels, the oysters, all of the stuff. And you can read clearly in the book, it says it in multiple places, you know, what is clean and unclean. And in Christianity, uh, people 
use one particular verse to justify their transgression to make it seem like the Most High has permitted everything to be eaten now. And then when you look at everything that's unclean, it has a purpose on this earth, but the Most High Yah didn't uh, sanctify it or create it with the intent of you consuming it. And a lot of what Red Lobster serves are creatures that filter out waste. You got to think about what a lobster eats, what a shrimp eats, what mussels eat. You got to think about that. They eat waste. They're bottom feeders. Just wanted to share that with you because for some people, they may take it uh, a little bit harder because that was once a, a, a common Christian place of fellowship to break bread. Talk about the good words you heard. But, you know, the Most High Yah, in his word and his righteousness, I realize, man, there's not too much on this menu that I can eat outside of fish. Outside of fish, and I think they got a couple chicken options. You know, they might have a steak option. But other than that, all of the other food that they serve, far as the seafood, is unclean prohibited against down in the comments let me know if they're closing uh red lobster in your area let me know what you think about this closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing gun barrel straight Bow.